Hey, y'all seen me cook some fried rice not too long ago, Mexican style, right? But did you think the cowboy could, could be doing it Asian style? I think he can. You want to stick around and see this because this is the best fried rice ever with a secret sauce. Come on, I'm going to tell it to you. Hey, thank y'all for stopping by camp and we are going to take a big trip today. It's where the west is going to meet the east and we're going to fuse it together right here on Old Bertha. So you better stick around because this is a good one, I promise you. It is something that Shan turned me on to not long ago. And everything you need to know will be down there in the little description below. It is an Asian, what do you call this? It's the best ever fried oh. rice recipe. This is the best ever fried rice recipe with a secret sauce. You can nearly drink this stuff. It is so good. But I'm going to shock some of you folks right now. I really am because guess what my favorite food is? You there in the back. What do you say? No, not cauliflower. No, not broccoli. It is sushi. I do be loving me some sushi. Shan you ever tried to say sushi and shan in the same sentence? It's hard. Shan turned me on to it a long time ago because I'd had some, but I'd had it at a truck stop, and she said that was not the spot to get it. So she got me to liking sushi, and then she got me to trying some of this rice that goes with it. Whew, folks, I can found her up in there like a dead carp laying in the sunshine for a week. I mean, it was hurting. So we're going to sort of put it together here at the wagon. Sure, it's not traditional, but we got some cowboys who also really love sushi down here on this ranch. So we're going to surprise them this evening, and we're going to have this. Now, we'll be doubling the recipe because we're feeding a lot of folk. So Shan will have you a single up there. Let's get started to making this sauce. So the first thing we're going to do is put this sauce together. And let me tell you, folks, there is so many ingredients in here that it's got its own zip code. So let me be taking this out and just reading it to you because whew, there is a lot of stuff here. Now, we recommend, and Shan turned me on to this, too. I think this is correct pronunciation. Kiko. Pronunciation. Kiko Man. Is that how you say it, Shan? Yeah. Who? Kiko Man. If you need to have yourself a little blender or a food processor, and we're going to start off with a fourth of a cup of Kikaman soy sauce and then a half a cup of Kikaman teriyaki sauce. Half of a yellow onion, chopped. That way it's easier for it to get in there and go to getting disintegrated by that. One and a half teaspoons of lime juice, a half a teaspoon of sesame seed oil. Let's take that half a cup of warm water that we got. Go ahead and put the tablespoon of sugar in there and the tablespoon of the chicken bouillon in there. The what? Chicken. Chicken bouillon in there, and we're going to stir it all up till it's good and dissolves. Then we're going to add that to the food processor or whatever you got it in by putting us a little old 10-inch oven over there, and we're going to put in some butter. Melt that butter down, then we're going to use some celery, which is a half a cup, chopped up, put it in there, and we're going to cook it till it begins to brown and get tender just a little. Bring that back over here to the little food processor, scoop it out of there, put it in there, blend it. Now it's really hard to blend here at the wagon, but we can get it done. So as you're blending this stuff and you think you're through with it and you look at it, it's still a little chunky. Hey, that's the way we want it because we want this stuff to have a little chunk to it here, there and yonder. Well, we have got our sauce, our secret sauce, all blended up well. So let's go over here to Bertha and let's put all this stuff together. We got us a little 10 inch oven over here. If you're doing this in the house, get you a pretty good cast iron skillet over medium heat. And we're gonna put us some eggs in there that we're gonna to scramble together because I like my fried rice to have me some of them eggs. Now, go ahead and just crack them in there. We'll get them stirred up here in just a minute. Well, them little cackleberries is done. So we're gonna set them aside here. Pardon my armpit reaching over that fire because it's hot and let them stay warm because we're going to put them in a little bit later. Got this old big 20 up here on Old Bertha getting good and hot because the secret to this too is a good hot skillet. Now if you're in the house, take you a 12 inch cast iron skillet, preheat your oven to 400 degrees, slip her in there for about 10 minutes, let it get good and hot, and then bring it out and slap it on that high burner. We are retaining some of that heat because that's going to help toast that rice to make this stuff. Woo, some of that good. We got our skillet hot. We're going to add us some butter in here, and I'm going to make sure that it gets to running around here really well because that old skillet is hot. And while it's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and dump in these mushrooms that we have chopped, and we're going to let them get incorporated with this butter. 
you want to cook these mushrooms down a little just till they sort of begin to change colors but then they release all that flavor in there with that butter that's what we're after you don't want to just cook them to death well we're going to scoot this over here them mushrooms have got just like we like them i'm going to add me two more tablespoons of butter and then we're going to add our cooked rice, which has been chilled for a while because that chilling helps it not clump up so bad. So make sure you chill that stuff in the ice box. And since that's going the wrong direction, watch this deal. Now then we'll get our butter back over there. Is y'all's house unlevel like that? Mine stays that way sometime. So let's dump our rice in there. We're going to stir it around a little, get it some of that butter to it. And we're just going to let it cook here. So we're going to mix some mushrooms back on there. Keep a stirring. Get it all incorporated well. And fry that rice. You want to let this cook. In about every 20, 30 seconds, go ahead and stir that rice back around. Let her set another little while. Turn her back around, stir it. But you can fold it over or you can stir it, but make sure you change ends with it because you need to toast it all the way around. stuff just left camp here it's what you call welcome to cooking in mother nature's kitchen on the heat you got on your skillet and the source you got making that heat it's usually going to take you about three to five minutes stirring there you'll see just a little gentle browning take place then it's time to add some of the secret sauce now we're going to add this gradually as we mix it all in so i'm just going to pour it across here about half of it to start out with which is really all of it shen I don't want it to be soupy, but I don't want it to gum up there either. I guess you would call that sort of nearly a sloshy. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the rest of that. And while that's sitting there cooking, I like to flatten her out just a little. Cook this about two or three minutes till it's warmed really through and all that sauce has begun to love in there with the rest of that rice and them mushrooms. Then we're going to throw in them cackle berries that we scrambled earlier. Go ahead and get that egg chopped up and get it mixed into that rice really well. Now to top all that off, folks, I like to finish it with me some chopped green onion. So I got some handy here, and we're going to scatter out amongst there and mix it in with the rest of that. Whoa, some of them got away. Now this is what you call fine dining in a big 20-inch skillet.
There it is in living color. Best fried rice with the secret sauce ever invented. Now y'all know the secret, so the secret is out. Now we're gonna let that cool just a minute while I go down there and find me a spoon to eat it with. Well, it is time to reap the benefits, it is. And I'm gonna get me a man size helping, which is about that much. Mm, they a lot of flavor going on there, but the best part of this deal too also is you got you some of that leftover sauce just running right back across there. And you can use as much or as little as you want. You can even mix it all together, whatever you wanna do, but you know what the next thing you do, don't you? You get to eat it. What's the fried rice happy dance look like? I'm talking that is some fine dining right there. That make me do the round the world dance just to get to the other side and eat some of this. <clears throat> is it really good? Yeah, it's good. The green onion and the egg, mm, I'd always did love me some green onions and eggs, but when you mix it with this rice and you get that sort of buttery taste that them mushrooms bring out, mm, mm, mm. five-star Michelin dining and we didn't even change the tires. It's still running on the same ones. So this is good eating. I hope that you get to enjoy it, but you ain't getting none of this because I'm going to eat it all. Now, folks, this is the way I like mine, me and Shan and the Beagle, but you can change up the vegetables and put anything in there you want. You ain't going to hurt our feelings. Make it to where it makes you a happy meal when you set it on the table. That's what it is about all the time. So fix it up, change it up, however you want to do. We give you the base ingredients for you, but folks, the sauce, mm, you're going to try to sell that secret sauce, but we got it patented. We'll know you did. Washington DC is watching you they are me Shan and this little sleeping beagle down here who's been working so hard on this ranch keeping the bears out of camp thank y'all for taking time out of your busy day to watch our videos I tip my hat as I always do to all our service men and women and all our veterans who have fought to keep this old country free and let that flag fly high above this wagon so that we could do what we do in a free country that we live in be sure and hit the subscribe button. Be sure and like it and be sure and share. I don't think some of y'all share it. I know some of your neighbors and they said they ain't never heard of this stuff before. <laughs> so when you get this video and you make it, go over there and ring the dingy dong doorbell and say, Cowboy Kent Rollins told me we had to share with y'all. So that's what we're going to do. Food, family, together. That's what we're talking about. God bless you, each and every one. And I'll see you down the East Meets West, West Meets East Trail with the secret sauce and rice. Okay. Ready? Hey, thank y'all for stopping by camp. And it is a day we are going to take a trip where the East Meets West and the West Meets Eat. I am eat. That's not right. Ready? So. And, yeah. And don't start with so. Why? I like so. I know you do. Shan said I couldn't say so no more, folks. So we we gonna start. Uh.